Good day, good day. So, explanation, internal growth rule. Before starting a business, you just have two employees. So you just use one to retain earnings and a work. So, you can see that 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 it's the easiest and cheapest. But a, a, a check. A check. So let's read a little bit about it. 3.1 Growth through internal development. An entity might grow in business with its own resources. So, own resources means that maybe the shareholders now. And they're using the thing in Sakaka. Mm. Mm. Seeking to increase sales and profits each year. There are several disadvantages. There are, there are several advantages. What are they? One, management can control the rate of growth more easily and ensure that the entity has sufficient resources to grow successfully. So, Management can be in control. One hour you have a camera, so you are in control. The entity may not have sufficient resources to meet the growing sales demand. However, it will only make and sell as much as it can, efficiently and effectively, with the resources at its disposal. Sometimes you feel bad you have a ten o'clock and one answer. You feel me? Watch it, watch it. Mm -hmm. Ten o'clock last. I don't know. Say, how many retain them? What they do? But one person, they are using their own resources. Mm -hmm. You know, even if there is increasing demand, you can to pay the bill. You know what they do? How much do you know? How much do you have? How much do you have? Anybody? I can't wait to hear anyone. You have one answer. Two, the entity should be able to focus on its core competence and develop these in order to grow successfully. So that's what do. All right. If the entity finds that it is short of a key labor skill, you can buy the labor skill to give by the good thing you use that. The Bua, what they do up there as a person, I want to watch it will be a SSR. Something like that. Do you understand? Yeah. So if you leave it, it will be I can go into a very slightly bigger joint. Third job. So the do to be a Right. So those are the three advantages. One, management can control it. Two, then it can focus on its own core competence. Three, <coughs> if there's any innovation to it, can. Idea. So that's the advantage of the internal growth. Right. For the disadvantage is one, it takes time. The rate of growth is very slow. So you want to scale up and be even a, 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 a city champion, Granese, a bad chef. It was last time that somebody was telling me, said, What's your call this lab first was pipe mm -hmm. I, I said, I'm going to start here and then da 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 in advanced countries, and the all in all in that You want to kill up quickly. You understand? Huh. The other thing is that in order to expand the business beyond the limit of the current capacity, it is necessary to invest in new capacity for production. This means investing in new production facilities. The lead time between taking the decision to invest. And the opening date for the new production facility can be long. 
And to the new product supervisor of the NC may be unable to meet customer demand. Actually, now see a delay in our life. Two, if there is three, if there is an element of diversification, then internal growth presents some risks because the organization will have to learn new skills. The stakes are almost inevitable. So, for example, who are uh, or starting we will start to sort of starting small. Let's see, you're starting with a uh, guy like Mary Snowden, right? And you always have a fourth part, you want to add maybe Shito and uh, maybe Tom Brown and other things to it. What he's saying is that if there's got an element of diversification, right? Now, it it's provides risks because as an organization have to now learn new skills. So that's why big companies are they want to they are, they want to group of companies. We you know, make um, it puts a lot of risk because the other line you, know, you have the necessary expertise. If you, if so the proprietor you have that's the team you have can your processes accommodate that can your internal controls accommodate that uh -huh. and, uh, the last disadvantage that is that even with internal growth, the NIT will eventually need to change its organization and manager structures in order to handle the growth in these days. Unless an organization does change to become inefficient, unfortunately, introducing change to the organizational structure and manager style is by no means simple to accomplish. That is, even, even crumble with uh, internal growth, you still have to change. It will shock, even at the local level, who are later on, people will be among the staff. What I said, people will be more of this guy. Who called a year, this one's a shop. They were ready. Uh, what are you doing now? Your, uh, as they, they realize that there has to be some segregation of duties. Okay, so, so even with internal growth, there is change. But change, what is the change is going on? But that was what we did to prevent growth from the back. Sunday, not sure. Now, what should I pay one five data? Apart from internal growth, the other type of growth is growth through acquisition of major. That's 3.3, page 161. Okay, last, last time we treated this. You know here, right? Okay. You know first what I'm But we are bad now. Now this is a position of value. But just for your own, sometimes say, well, to see the money just see. I cannot be there for passes and for one day. Before you want to be as a mess and one, eh? So, in order to go, one of the fastest ways to emerge is in a position. Look at that one. There's only an existing business that has well known products. And has some customers. So when you merge with that entity, automatically you, you, you gain from the product, you gain from the internal process and expertise, you gain from their brand, and you gain from their customers. So you're able to grow faster. Your revenues can grow faster. And then immediately your customer base increases. But media is between two companies of the same size. Whilst in acquisition, one company is bigger than the other. So the predator company is usually bigger. Right? And then they are far controlling state in, in the other company. It will take you over Sana who product your systems, your assets, liability, everything will fact. Those are our quite proud engineers. 
So the customers don't think that they are living in the same impact, they are not living in the same. We also acquired which in the So in the banking sector, Ghana Commercial Bank acquired BT. And there are about three or four banks are acquired. And the APSA also acquired all the assets of Barclays Bank in Africa. But Barclays Bank wanted to pull out of Africa. But as seen in Europe, if they sold the Africa assets to APSA, that's another position. So you see that APSA, Senka, or Pagan, imagine. I think I've only been to you branches. Now, since we have a couple of customers, that way, one couple of accounts. To be the account that I, but in the position of Barclays Bank, when you have Barclays Bank customers in now the pocket, and all their branches, they just have they did rebranding. So the expertise, process is there, they didn't know where I'm going, but if you have assets and liabilities, normally Barclays is a very good bank, so the assets are definitely more than their liabilities. What fun is that? So you see quickly, you know, we have a lot of customers quickly. So one of my advantages is to go by acquisition or measure is much faster than go through internal development. You are still going to be 161 down there. An acquisition can give the buyer immediate ownership of new products, new market, and new customers. And yes, and yes. An acquisition enables an entity to enter a new market where barriers to entry are high. Because it's not easy to enter Ghana. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. An acquisition prevents a competitor from making their decision to step. Can you also say we're defensive in nature? Because only a competitor, but also, yeah, acquisition now, where they got the news. It's now more about acquire. It might result in cost savings and have of the gas cylinder. I think we explain that to them. So it's a good thing this war might be expensive. Loss of personal ownership. Uh, different organizational structures, different monument styles, different culture, integration challenges. Alright, probably be a clash of cultures. Okay. You got yeah, class of cultures. No, okay, sorry. Okay. Class of cultures. How is it a disadvantage? Oh, so for example, uh, two separate companies. Marriage. Why can't there be a class of cultures? Even in a marriage, car. Why, why would they? Why, why, why? Is there a clash of cultures? Yeah, because, yeah, because, no, you were, you were raised differently. In mm -hmm. a different home. The way you were taught. But you learn to adapt. Eh? But to extend it. What if the other person has no, what, is not willing to adapt? Or no believes that they are better. That's the problem. So it's the same thing. Because major is like marriage between two companies. You understand? So, no, it's real. And it was about reality because I, I've been in a marriage company before. We lost. We I lost. You were coming uh, to say being in a marriage like that before. No, we lost. <laughs> no, we lost uh, some of our benefits. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like. Ah. So, for example, who uh, said the other company you know, has its own compensation structure? Mm -hmm. And we don't have our own compensation structure, but ours was much higher than. And they say, I imagine. They didn't want to raise the moon too much because it would add to the overall cost. And they said, Tia, she can cry. To me, that was your point. So you made a lot of money. So, can we liken it to SAR, CBJ, AE, and uh, results here? Okay. That's possible, but that was a position. Our major, I'm quite a major, so it was five banks that were merged into one bank. 
It is this moment the difference in process there that They are more, uh, for example, they are willing to take bigger risks than the other. I'm a manager. You are, you are used to it. Oh, what in a particular environment? No, I'm not saying. Yeah, the money they make for about outside that. What do you mean? Who do you mean? But the style is very, very different. Who do you mean? Diversification is a high risk growth strategy because the entity is moving into more new product areas, a new market at the same time. 
and does not have experience in either. So that's why it's risky. Integration. Integration is a term that means extending a business. There are two main types of integration horizontal integration and vertical integration. So, last time I explained this one. Uh, so, if let's say this is the firm, alright, uh, these are your customers, which is, you call it, uh, uh, what's the word? Forward. Huh? And now, backward is, is your supplier. So you want to grow, you want to be bigger. Right. You can go forward. Or you can go backward. Or there's also a lot of these are your competitors. So what they're saying is that there are two types. There, there is a vertical integration and there's horizontal integration. There's what? Vertical integration and horizontal integration. So both mergers and acquisition can take place vertically or horizontally. That's what it means. Please do understand. The integration could be a merger or acquisition. You understand? Uh -huh. So you can go vertically or horizontally. Vertically can be forward or backwards. Huh? So vertically is either what? Forward or what? Backward. Forward is when you integrate with your a customer. Please, this one, we're not looking at retail, where customers are in We're looking at business where the customers are also businesses. Please, you understand? You understand? If we are awarded a fabrication uh, company, and then you fabricate for, let's say, Talo. Talo is your customer, but you also have a company, you understand? So there are business, so businesses where, but if I wanted fans, your customers are fans. Please do you understand? Yes. Uh, so we are talking about where the customers themselves are fans. Then you integrate with them, either you merge, acquire them, or for strategic alliance. This one is when you integrate with your supplier. This one is to control the raw materials. So here you want to gain dominance in the raw material side. And here you want to gain do dominance at the customer side. To boost the growth. Horizontal image or acquire a competitor. So upstream, downstream. So forward, another word is the upstream. Should that be the damn one? That's what I tell you. So you let, please let's let's take to forward me back for a moment. I'm a I'm a community here. Right.
Let, let's do that. This is you. So you see that those who come back on work different departments. It is the same concept. Revenue never was for double now. Which department is that? I'll say a lady. Because part of that one when this come on. And I said, I know of more potential. You know, how do you statistically to see and know to the particular the right market to grow it? Because definitely, when this is not one between the other and the other. Please, I'll give you three different examples. So product portfolio, it could be different types of products. It could be what? Different subsidiaries like this one. Or it could be certain business units, the departments. Different departments. It could be like the other things, if they build a private house. Or four departments. Or, or the audit tax. Advice you, three book, three. Audit, tax, and advice you. Then what? You have many accounts for people. You have many accounts, you know, audit, tax, and advice for the department. And as a company, you know, the revenue, which one is which of these departments in the year? The strongest. And how do you position that department you know, to do the, the leader? In terms of revenue. That is what? Uh, product market portfolio management. So that's why we have a strategic choice. Because we are supposed to select a particular strategy that can help you grow using this. Oh, school, yeah, school, yeah, yeah, they do. I mean, 
coming now. It's aerial. Aerial bar. But one says, I want to say, I didn't do this in my back again. No. This is real. And the word is that for him, Father said, Full, full name, put that in the leader. Of course, full word, I'm going to go. Seven. No, no. <laughs> so the basic metrics, the first one is the market proof. Anna, what is the market share? Sadly wrong. And what I think is in the front is just here. But for try not to say because from at the core of more, they need a more complex, we are three by three metrics. But we are two by two. Now, your high, low, high, and a low. Next time, I do I try one or one set. I'm going to go to the city. i What kind of age there? What do you Twenty of them. You have to find a way because when I was playing, I was 
understanding the the one to the left, the one to the right. You have to understand. We see the is a boss high high. Amen. And they have to at each quadrant what it means. And the name they it. And the name they To keep it that push. Very simple. That kind of thing is not international CPT. And also, 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 this is it. That's why this time I'm also power.
growth in the market. You understand? In the market, if you see the market, it means that people are moving there. People with their means are moving there. So the, the market is increasing. So that means that the base, as you said, initially, your, your level of customers should be 10,000. Out of, let's see, 100,000. So this is your market share, 10%. This over that. But market, we are seeing that this one is also increasing. So last year was 100,000. But by the end of this year, it goes to 200,000. Because people are moving, maybe they discovered new oil or gold or something. So people are moving in. Do you understand? So your market share can be growing while this one is stagnant. It's possible. But this can be growing while this one is still growing. Please, do you understand? So here we are saying that a, a, a product with high market share in the high growth market. Sir, can we use Broom as an example? Eh? We have Broom, 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 Broom. What Broom? Oh. Now that we are using it, we are there, we can use the product. Or something in a sense. Right. So, key one is what? Product with what? A high market share. Market share. In a high growth market. Q2. Hey, hey. Product with a low market share in a high growth market. And I can create products with what? A low market share in a low growth market. Now, a low growth market is the same as a matured market. Right. And now, for that four here, put up with what? A high market share in a what? Low growth market. So, product one. If you have a product with a high market share in the high growth market, imagine say the area is not on mind, but with you. Let's see the total market size here, 100,000. Huh? And you have a high market share. Please watch you. You have 60% market share. So that means that you have what? 60,000 customers. And remember that 60% of 100,000 is 60,000. And this one is growing to let's say 300,000. If you keep at your percentage at 60%, what number of customers do you have? Exactly. So here you are 60,000. Now it's what? 180,000. So assuming that we are selling one unit for 10 CDs, this one. Will give you what? 600,000 per day revenue. This one is going to give you what? 1.8 million per day. High market share in a high growth market. For your staff. Only your staff for that. If you come to the end of the staff for that. And see, before you buy one buy, the lady might be there when you start product, you chia buy. When you understand? Yes. 
It is a product, and I say divisional. Ukra high market share in a high growth market. You know. Your star is your market leader. Like Mumu. Mumu. MTN, Mumu. Or your star. Yes. For your star. Hey, 2023. Do you know Mumu transactions? Do you know the value of transactions? And bro, who can check out? I mean, banks here, yeah, yeah, yeah. when they show to see you in I don't know. And NTN has like 60% or more, 65%. And you look at the fees. Four more fees here charging over this bill. Look at how much revenue NTN is making from home. It will have to start. Yeah, it's a good person. That's how you look at me. Yeah, it's better. It's a good person. 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 I'm not going to this is where I am. This is where I am. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not I will go this that one. <laughs> no, 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 it is an ideal of Kabuna. It is in the month of the party to do adverts. You understand? Because you need to still pop it up. It is more of Kabuna only advert. I know there's only adverts. One year advert, two months two. So initially, they probably use up more cash than the end. And at best, a cash sutra. Over time, star should gradually become self financing. At some stage in the future, they should start to earn higher returns. But um, before they start, we must have to invest in that to promote it. Initially, we told you I'm not far away. We must have to start. For example, Master Katu Baba, they are making you know at least a few thousand in order. Master Richard. Master Richard. You understand? So please, this thing is real. Oh, once you meet that, I I support the concept to me in a particular way. What do you mean, Joe? And it makes the good people banana easier. Come to us here. Come to me, say me. Tell us that you banana. Eh, go. Any other one say you will tell me. This is the last one. You can put your coins there. Come to us. Oh, Papa. If you want to have a big change, I don't want to mama. You come to one or two months here. I don't know if you make a surprise. I don't know if you make a We just number for our. Three rooms, no room, no room, no room. It was for two cafe, you pay. But I don't know if you make a surprise. But we are like that. 
said, would be but we say,
You know, I say to just get a, a profitable position. I know I'm not sure much in the boss. It may be because we too much in the But invest, it's actually be said, the influence will be more than the law. The outflows. That's a favorable profitable position. That's why it's a question mark. So that is, please look at the scenario. Please, do you understand? But the BCG analysis states that a firm cannot last long with a small market share. As bigger companies will be able to apply bid cost and price pressure, you, you, can't, you can't survive as a small for long. What will swallow you up? That is why we have to take that decision. That's the much. Let's look at. Uh, Three. Three is the dog. Why are you calling the dog? What? Who got low market share? Why can't you swap the market now? Who is no growing? A good one and come to me a factor for market share. And now it's no good. A dog is a product in a low growth market share. That is not the market leader. It is unlikely that the product will gain a larger market share because the market leader will defend its position. A dog might be losing money, it can be using up more cash than it earns. If so, it should be evaluated for potential closure. It's the way on one as a cash analysis. On the first time, who was this room for several years? So that's why some people, some people sell off certain divisions or sell off certain subsidiaries. Because it's a job. On the first time, really. But I know what you said, what do you get in around? Because you have to know. We are probably able to go soon. Because people sell off their dogs, but I just take it and I turn it around. But when they still want things, you know, it's a dog for you, right? However, a dog may be providing positive cash flow, although the entity has a relatively small market share in the low growth market or declining market. The product will be profitable. A certain decision for the entity may be to choose between immediate withdrawal from the market or selling it or enjoying the cash flow for some years before eventually withdrawing from the market. It would be an unwise decision, however, to invest more capital in dogs in the hope of increasing market share and growing cash flow. You don't do that. I quite said, uh, uh, who produce it? Why now? We are still producing those that we The market for that is not growing. It doesn't mean say there are few people who are even buying it or buy, leave it like that, or pull out. For some purpose, we have to go. Another change to the smart. Uh, yeah. Another area, uh, it's like. So, American cars now, the, the fuel capacity of the car for the F-150, the name is Ram. George Ram, the for the F-150. That market is declining. Last time, when we fought the F-150, our shock was 2.8. That's good. Our shock. You said four dogs. F1 to give you cap to sell. You got a 4.5. Yeah. Additional one is 4.5. Ah, then I got a even say, Honda for your baby friend. CRS. 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 No man, now I'm 1.5. Fine, put on the table, put on the end, put on the 
we are 2.5. But what we need, people are now moving towards small entity, big entity. It's a little bit of 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 Product with a high market share in a, a, a low growth market. I mean, I feel the same. Cash out. I don't know products in our system, no one share. We'll be able to do that. We are not going to do that. The cash flow came positive many years ago. We are still enjoying positive cash flow. Yeah, that the market is not good, but you are the leader in some And no, and then you have cash card, and then this card about to come and finance either your staff or your customer. You see, who are, and then this card to finance your staff, you know. Or high growth market. But we have more investment to keep the leadership. If you are well, low market share or, or high growth market, we need to increase the market share because what is the move? It is coming out of the financing. Way. I'm a first country, that's what you say. So, this is a strategy I did manage for that market. Right, so if it's competitive, it means that the market 
the market in which the product is growing. And it has a higher market share. But what is going to say that it's false because you are there's a product that's very competitive because of brand competition. Can we think of an example? that comes to mind with all these uh, advent of uh, online online things you realize that there are certain products that go and see it for yourself physically so you realize that there's still an edge right to still deal physically with Instead of online, another example that I can give is, uh, for example, cake. There is modernity. There is pizza. There is this. There is that. There is that. <laughs> but as Ghanaians, we are as Africans. Our affinity for our brand attitude. A group means that cannot be denied. So you can't say that, fine, maybe as long as if Kinky and all those things are so, uh, it's not as if it's not going rapidly like this, that kind of thing, and so on and so on. can just rubbish. No, it has a level of brand loyalty and a clientele base. How does that work? Who's allowed to recognize it? You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Uh, uh, another one is Nizan uh, Hardwood. I'm the Navara buy. But people still buy the hardwood more than the Navara. Why? Why do you So two other factors apart from market share and market size would influence what a company should do with the product. What the trend says is that the criteria that one is limited. We can't limit this to just two. We have to consider other factors, such as um, strength of the competition, your cost base, and the strength of your brand. The strength of your brand. The strength of your brand. Because if you look at the luxury car market, certain brands, Benz, all oh, their Benz manufacturer. Okay, why not Sulta, Nizan, Kia, any other ones? They are bottom items of numbers. But there is quite a brand competition here on a specific clientele. No matter what, I will talk. And found where the market share is increasing or going or any of them. So there are other factors, not just this two. And also, it's difficult actually defining the market. Some market share population is supposed to have. Yeah, my uncle. <laughs> uh, and yes, Uncle Sao, do theoretically know we use this, but in real estate, yes, in the toilet. We can go about the data to get to know what the total market size is, and yes, in the toilet. And now, to determine whether the market is growing, you tell me, easy. And quantitatively, you need to know it's growing at what rate. And yes, that's what you see. And I say the business metrics is better for analyzing performance of strategic business units than the entire market, which is true. But that's what it's for. And uh, it might be difficult to define what's meant by high rate and low rate in the growth of the market. I can do that.
weaknesses. Ah, weakness is about that. We move about a typical area on top when the mask is. Look at the weakness of the mask. It's the only weakness. So me want to buy. This is the weakness of the mask.
This additional analysis of the underlying factors is intended to produce more accurate positioning and lead to a better understanding of the strategies for the SD. What does it do on it? A bit more. It's like, oh, most of the mistakes are, oh, wait, if you are going to know. No, they are about to pay a couple Whereas, there are about 10 aspects of a person. Ah, we didn't include that. So you can come to a wrong conclusion. That's what I'm saying. Who is one to decide? You use several. Okay. Right. So let's talk about market attractiveness. This dimension helps the attractiveness of the market by considering the benefits an SBU will receive from entering or competing in this market. So, this one, we are not looking at the business. We are looking at the market external. What is making that market attractive? You can grab a couple of those who on pay, no BIA movie, without even doing any proper analysis. But what I can say is that what becomes attractive for you is the of the market. And both, no problem saying, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen factors to determine whether the market is attractive or not. One is the industry size and structure. The bigger the size of the industry, of course, the more attractive it is. It's long term growth. It's long term growth. That is why G had to do G renewables because they realize that the renewable market has a long term goal. That is why you do that. This is a electric cars. Now, first, like yesterday, I'm going to say, I don't know. But now, electric cars are becoming so much. Right now, almost all the car manufacturers are starting to develop it on electric because why it has what? Long term. So, right now, electric car market, because it has a long term uh, goal for you to know. People are what? It's becoming attractive for them. Do you understand? Yes. Long term. Actually, even among professionals, that's why people prefer civil service for <laughs> you understand? Because of long term and long <laughs> Yes. You understand? Yes. Uh-huh. And now profitability of the industry. Is the industry profitable or not? But normally no. Ghana they share no one. This is this kind of move. To be honest, you will be. They don't look at all the others. They go a short term. And now, product life cycle. The behavior. And we'll treat it later. I think we know, but product life cycle. But why is it we should know the demand, the level of demand? Or if the level of demand is higher, definitely it's attractive. Market segmentation. Market segmentation is like uh, offer, that must be an offer insurance here. Whatever life insurance. Yeah, well, a market segment for funeral. What does it Funeral. And no, you say it targets people, maybe people in the middle class are not saying it. If you tell them I'm going to work with you, you don't have a policy in case. And I'm saying, what segment for child education? Yeah, that is. That was a target. And it's not only for uh, them. Investment. And so on and so on. So based on that, these are our segments in the particular market. Uh, and next step, pricing trends. But so what we say, oh, they have to be pricing high. One of the advantages of working in the oil and gas is that it will be pricing high. Do you understand? Ah, if we are a car here, 10 cities are, you can price it $10. Simple. <laughs> The environmental impact, and also these days, are very 
the growth rate, product differentiation, technology impact, social impact, and digital impact. These are all things that uh, determine market attractiveness. And uh, the business position. So this is external. And uh, we are internal to the business. So various factors that help to determine the business position. Bear in mind as a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The business market share its profitability, the margins, the growth rates, the strength and weakness, brand strength, customer loyalty, product differentiation, technological position, environmental impact. All this put together creates what we call a three by three matrix. Which people don't want to hear, but I'll teach. You don't want to hear, but I'll teach. Because a person sees that. I learned the hard way. See, there's no place who say don't teach. Who dare and never back? Then you go about seeing that you want to say and say. You teach as much as you can. As much as time will allow us. So it's a three by three matrix. You see a girl in here. Huh? Up there. Business is strong. 
and the market attendance is high. That SBU or that product has potential. So, if the name is this, if the real position is seen average and the market attendance is strong, same. If the real position is strong and the market attendance is medium, same. He has potential to grow. Put money inside, he has potential. Cold means that the energy that falls into this category has potential, but their position is not clear. But I said, one of them. You understand? But I said, one of them. How about your own customer? Why do you invest in so over an education? No, these are things that when you relate to, we see that. Oh, your upper target around. This guy has potential in terms of the attractiveness and the position. So invest your time. Bro. Please. These are ways that are efficient and you. Well, guy, you are only here. And I don't know if I'm But look out there. Oh, or potential, but you are not sure to your hold. The business position is weak. Though the market attractiveness is high, but. And on this one, here. So here, the business position is average. The market attractiveness is average. Oh, no, average. Aha, the business position is strong, but the market attractiveness is very low. Oh. Please put that aside. For a woman, it's like, in car, the position in there, Oh, yeah, I can't tell you the manager, but the man is no, I thought you were seeing a very low. Fire, <laughs> yeah, when you go over there, you will see it. You put more hold. You understand? Aha. <laughs> Anna, how best way to challenge the challenge? Run. Run, 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 run. Run. These SBUs may not perform well and operate in less attractive markets. Investment will be provided, but only if it is considered that the returns we generate, they will generate is sufficient to at least cover the expenses. If it is not considered to be realistic, they may instead be divested. Divested is a, a nice word to say that. Pull up. Yeah. Run on. Okay, so I've used a practical skill to help you remember this. I'm giving one side to uh, women, female, one side for men. So, so why are you remember. saying that uh, we'd have a self to run away? Sorry. You say have a self to run away. Why? Uh, why? I don't know what I'm saying. I'll say, but it's not about me investing in time and resources. But I don't know. It's not performing well. Ah, it's your business and I put up there and talk. Now I'm going to be Why is you that? But why you have never used the word? Because have a day, say, she said, we are in the room. Oh, that's right, that's right. Let's forget to hear from you. Please, you are not being in an English course. You are doing what? Strategic history. So please, it's not English. So here, the harvest means that what? No, that's best. So, oh, I take your money out. Hey, Jack, right? I want your money. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, well, last time I never did, I your money. Before, Before I tell you, the thing sinks you. If you're in the relationship stage, you are, oh, baby, this is coming. Come on, let's crash it. Let's crash it. Let's crash it. Let's crash it. Hey. <laughs> 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 run! 
Bawi. Run. Susah nak kaya naik. Tahu kaya waktu. Ah, yo yo, take no. Tali sangai ni. In a curry rice. Half bag of rice. They carry both seven from Africa or two in one. What for? Why don't you come out with me, nigga? I don't know yet, eh? I don't know what you mean, I don't know my excuses. You know, you didn't see. One time, I smoke. You know, when I there was a guy in the room. He said, I was asked, what? I don't know, everyone said it. That's no way. You don't know. 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 So please, otherwise this is a complicated thing, but I've used a very simple and practical way to it. And at least people who are sleeping are now awake. Alright, so all this is called our vacancy and G business scheme. So you see that it's still a way to manage SBUs. But fortunately, as of now, a three. So, top three. And I'm here, guys, you know. Is it safe? Put me Kaibi, a Kaibi. Now, they are quite strong, they are high in the world. Now, they are quite strong, they are high in the world. Now, they are quite strong, they are high in the world. Now, they are quite strong, they are high in the world. And then, you say, Criticism. While some aspects of this model improves on the DCC matrix, it also has its own limitations. One, it requires significant expertise, I tell you, to accurately determine the market attractiveness. And business strength in your single one. And the watch I said. Two, it is expensive to produce because you need a specialist consultant. It does not consider potential synergies that may exist between SBUs. What this one trying to say is that if you are on it's not doing the vice, it could be a complementary product. What did I say? Because, for example, maybe auto auto toothpaste, if you have better brush, maybe you want to do well about it. Why do people buy the others? They buy. But they look at those kind of synergies. So this one has to look at that. Magnitude weightings will be very subjective. That is, you know, to describe it as strong, average, and weak, high, medium, low, and that's what And it will be subjective, it might not be very realistic. And then, look at what we, and that's what we In reality, we will be adding it to our amazing. To be with you, what is that? This is the way I see it. You can't. Do the short direction policy and the and the asteroid portfolio display. And the same concept, but the bending and then the other.
And then I'm in Tepe. Thank you. 